Hello again, welcome to another tutorial. In this one, let's talk about mesh objects and how to select and edit them. Okay, um, imagine that uh, we have an object selected. Uh, as I told you in the last tutorial, uh, we can go to edit mode by click on tab. There are a lot of uh, options to do that one is using this drop down menu over here and another one is clicking here where it says modeling on the tabs that are on the top of the screen okay i am going to use the tab key okay and now that i have entered in object mode okay as you can see we have three buttons the one says vertex uh, it allows us to select and work with vertex or vertices is the plural okay this one is edges it allows us to select and work with edges and this one is faces it allows us to select and work with faces okay basically those buttons um, define or allow us to to choose what type of mesh sub objects we want to work with let's talk for first about the vertex okay and um, if we click here we can only select vertices on the object okay vertex a uh, vertex is a point um, in 3d space or uh, in plural vertices okay and in this cube as you can see you have a total of eight vertices you have probably not seen them all because to do that we need to activate this option over here where it says toggle x-ray it allows us to see us through the object like like an x-ray okay um this is this is this is going to be very useful um, because uh, for example imagine that you have not this selected and you want to select all the vertices if you are selecting one by one or if you are drag and drop okay as you probably notice this vertex vertice over here is not selected that's because blender only uh, gives you the option to select what you are seeing if you are not seeing the vertex the the face or the the edge blender will not select it but we are going to approach this in the next lesson now let's talk about edges okay if we click here we can only select edges basically edges um, are lines that are connected by two vertices okay we have for example four edges over here and now let's talk about faces faces are regions okay or a piece of surface uh, that uh, are formed by looping closed edges okay for example this face is formed by those four looping edges okay um in other 3d softwares you may not uh, use the term face okay some 3d softwares call this a polygon okay uh, as you can see if we have this button that corresponds to the face select we can only select faces if we have this one we can only select edges and if we have this one we can only select vertices um, that is to avoid uh, a little confusion that uh, you will going to have if you prefer to use uh, the three ones but it is possible to activate the three ones you just need to press shift okay and then select the button that you want and now i can select all the three things edges uh, faces or vertices but i prefer to use one at a time i think that is going to be easier if you want the shortcut keys to select between them you just need to press in number one on the 
on the left uh, side of uh, your keyboard, not your numpad. One to select vertices, two to select edges, and three to select faces. One, two, three. Okay. Uh, basically, to select faces or vertex or anything, um, the techniques are the same that we use to select the objects. If we click, we select it. If we drag and drop, we select all, just like we use to select multiple objects if we have on the scene, okay? And uh, if you want to use the shortcut keys to select all, you can press A, okay, sorry, A, and if you press A twice, you will go into the selecting. I am going to do it again because I have my object already selected when I press the letter A. So A, OK, and press twice to deselect. You can use the box and to deselect, you can click in each part of the screen to deselect the object. Basically, uh, the techniques are the same that we are used that we have used before to select objects okay that's it for this tutorial um, i hope to see you soon uh, in the next one and subscribe my channel if you like it